Heavy. Heavy. I'm just going to see I if believe. this works. If you look carefully, we see here a balloon actually floating mid-ear. Now, why is this floating? Because you got the gas inside. This gas is so heavy that you can actually make things float. Oh, that's a pretty impressive. Like a, that was like the magnet you bought. Yes, but this is just, you don't feel uh, nothing. No, here. I don't feel the air. Nothing. Well, right. There's nothing. We'll see in a second. So slowly it's so pushing can, out some of the air. No, oh. that's too heavy. Oh. And it's going to just push out more gas. But this is pretty it light, actually felt cold. which makes a pretty cool effect. As you can see, this balloon just nicely swimming, floating like a boat. Now, not only that, I'm going to try no? to... No, just no, now, not gonna happen. Enough. What I'm gonna try is to Two breathe. Gases, basically. You, can take it slowly, you, need, you need more. There's different things that anything that dents, more, uh -huh. right? We gotta. I'm just gonna go stick my head inside. <laughs> well, guess what? All of a sudden, you start talking again this way. <laughs> it's good. Now bend down and take it, take it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Taking all that, you'll get a lot inside. And swallow it down. Uh, Nisim, how do you what sound? Do? <laughs> <laughs> this is just unbelievable, no? This, this is crazy. This is crazy. Right? This is what you can try. Uh, just bend your head okay. down. Breathe in. All the way down. All the way down. Breathe in and swallow. <sighs> Testing. <laughs> Moish, Moish is the ski. Moish is sitting here so comfortable. Uh, you know, I prefer to take the shortcut and not. Oh, uh, I, I have to talk oh, still. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> bend down all the way in and swallow it. Get to swallow it. <laughs> now that that's the yeah, problem you, usually. You, you, you good now, okay. now the George, truth. <laughs> let out the gas. Now the truth is, I usually have my shows uh, that I go. I have the children, right. children trying to do this, and the first second they start talking, they start laughing. Now what the problem from laughing is that the second they start laughing, they just push out the entire gas. And I uh, ask the kids, please do me a favor, do not laugh. Just talk. Just talk. First thing, they don't know what to say. They talk a whole day, right? Kids at home, you talk a whole day. And all of a sudden, you come on stage, you don't know what to talk. Well, guess what? The first time I came on stage, I did not know what to talk. I'm just like everybody else. Yes, I'm sh I was that shy kid. You know, you talk. I, I was still sitting, don't know how to talk. I was sitting in the back of the class always. I always looked for the back seat. You know what I mean? I always looked for that seat. And I never spoke. Never, never. I was quiet as can be. And all of a sudden, now I just can't stop talking, right? It's just no end. You're doing a good end. job. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yes, so it's a, it's a long story. So these are very interesting gases, and I really do have my last gas. Um, I'm going to ask to do this, and while I do this, I'm going to ask Everybody both of you to, to get, out, get of out of here. here because right. this will be Guys, a sort of an explosion this here. Is, this is the construction hour. We'll be back. So as everybody takes us... We're still on. We're still on. We're and still I'm still on, here. Sure, yes. And I'm going to put on just safety goggles just to keep my eyes safe. We're still on. But and we should be fine. We're now. not then back there. We're. Um, I don't know if you can uh, see this red balloon. The camera. This red balloon is pretty good. Now, since we're doing it in a studio, I'm not doing it. I usually have always with me something much better. And that's a big balloon. Okay. Doing with a big balloon, the noise is extremely loud and a big ball of fire. We're not looking to blow up the studio no. yet, right? We want to be safe. We want to have just fun showing kids how exciting things can be. But please keep it safe. And guess one thing. Where does hydrogen gas come from? Well, hydrogen gas comes from, oh, go to your sink in the kitchen, open up that water. Guess what? That water has some hydrogen gas. So we take some hydrogen gas, fill up this balloon, and now it's time just to see what's inside that balloon. Mm. So I'm going to light here a nice match so we can... Blow this up, not blow this up, light it, and see the properties of hydrogen gas. So hopefully everybody will be safe. Hopefully you all enjoyed my fun, fun time over here. And now I'm just going to light this match. You might want to close your ears. Like I said, it's not the biggest noise. I didn't add anything else to make it such a big noise. So everybody should be pretty safe. And let's go light this hydrogen gas on fire. One, two, and three. There you go. Wow, that, that was a pretty uh, big flame. Yes, that was a big flame. But like I said, doing it in a show in front of a few hundred kids, I usually use these big balloons, bigger noises, big explosions, more bigger fun. Bigger balloons than that? Yes, yes. And you got to always use, bigger is always how you gonna better. Lift, how are you going to so, lift up the fish tank? The fish tank, well, the truth right. is, it's interesting enough. This tank that I have weighs a lot, but the gas inside weighs even more. Like, not even more, I'm saying the gas in this tank weighs 11 pounds. And it's invisible. Imagine an invisible thing weighing 11 pounds. 
and it's not filled up like a tank for the sky here, this small tank compressed is 11 pounds of sulfur hexafluoride, which is a real interesting, interesting gas, very exciting gas, wow. and it's something that I added this year to my show, and wherever I go, it's one of my hits of the show, mm -hmm. something new, something different. I, I want to tell you something, one, I want too. to tell you something about the smell. It took me 45 years over to the war, an explosion over there. So this is wow, unbelievable. Wow. It's smelly exactly like, like the bombs, you know. Big bombs, I know. Yeah. And unfortunately, people use hydrogen yeah. gas for not the right things. Yeah, yeah. And you have to keep hydrogen gas really, really safe. That's why I keep everybody away and I always put on all my safety gear. Safety is number one in any of experiments you play around with. Chas v'shalom, I know kids go at home, they're fascinating on fire. Fire can be a lot of fun. Please stay away, watch it from far, and let the adult take care of it. Unfortunately, too many stories happen. I myself ran a camp with hundreds of kids, and I've seen so many stories with kids playing with fire. Anything that I do, I've taken lab safety courses in this real safe way, knowing what to play, knowing what to do. And I'm really excited to be able to share with so many kids so many fun ideas. Uh -huh. Wow. So we got that. That was hydrogen, and that that thing that exploded. I made the big noise for those who were listening. The balloon busted. So uh, the balloon busted with uh, with some kind of made a big flame. I mean, it's a very clean fire. Also, there's no carbon involved, which is mm -hmm. not so good. You know, usually you see a light, a candle burning. You see that little black smoke coming out of that candle. Okay, so well, it's not the, safe. What's the gas that makes the candle? Well, that, you have a lot of carbon there. That's what's burning there. Carbon. So we don't want... Car carbon is, is dangerous. Carbon dioxide is dangerous. We don't want that. Um, a little candle is safe. And please, kids at home, your mother lights the candles. Don't be afraid. Stay put. It's good and safe. But right. hydrogen gas is very clean gas. So you don't see that smoke at all involved. Uh-huh. Well, it's coming, you know, Hanukkah now is coming, right? Yeah, Hanukkah. Hanukkah, yeah. you're lighting Let's the candles. Light it with gas, Please right? be careful, boys at home. And I go around to a lot of parties, Hanukkah. I'm sure many of you at home have seen me going around to many different parties. I love going around. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, entertaining. And whoever wants to book me, um, I'm sure you can find me uh, on Instagram, Terrific Scientific Show. You can find me on my website, terrificsci.com, so what, what and so on. Website? It's www.terrificsci.com. Terrificscience.com. Sci. Terrific SCI. Terrific SCI.com. Yes. Or even, you could call me at 347 731 7901. That's 347 731 7901. You can email me and I can answer you. You can email me at nukashwinihour at gmail.com and I'll, I'll, I'll answer what the exact number is. Yes. And. Uh, I'm sure, like I said, keep it safe. How many Don't years fight. did you uh, do this? How many years? Been well, it's, it, it's going now. To, it's going to be now my fourth Hanukkah that I'm doing this. So it's four years that I'm doing four it. Four years. Not a lot, but uh, I've been how, around a lot. Who trained you into it? Or what, what exactly happened? How, how did you so get I, into it? I, I, I've, I've spoken this last time over here. I'm sure many of you have heard it before. Yeah, but I, I heard it last time, but it's we like to hear it again. Yes. Um, I've been a t teacher, an English teacher in a classroom. And... I've been an English teacher in a class and teaching very interesting subjects, reading, math, and some other stuff. And I always did something fun, which was, was some science mm -hmm. in the classroom. Um, doing so many science experiments and put it together a whole tire show, which turned into a beautiful, exploding science show. So that was wow, the rest of history, as you say. Sure. Yeah, you were very into science. Not as a child. Now, Not I know many child. boys at home are very into science. Girls probably also. Um... You're all learning science. Some of you sound science boring, hearing about the molecules and the atoms and so many other boring Mo stuff. Molecules, actually, they're very interesting. Yeah, Believe if you know, it or we, not, if you use a microscope on it, it's I'm very sure big. all the teachers have microscopes and they have all the gases there and have everything. I wish it would be the one that, that way. There are some schools that do have. I know you definitely <laughs> make it interesting, right? Yes, we have got to do everything hands on. I mean, uh -huh. I have taught Chumash and, and Mishnais, wow. who's also hands on. I mean, you got to use hands-on to make it science it's exciting, especially science, because if you're not talking numbers of science, it can be really boring sometimes. So you really got to know what you're doing um, and really make it exciting for them. Okay. Uh, all right, boys and girls, which is the most dangerous gas? Now, I know Maya Licht knows the answer. Maybe Yehuda Rubin knows the answer now, but which one is the most dangerous gas? We saw tonight, uh, which gases did we see tonight? SF6, which is sulfur hexafluoride, and we saw... 
hydrogen gas, these two, and carbon dioxide, which is out of the person's stomach. Okay, so and you some tell us gas. from those three, hydrogen and sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, which one is the most dangerous? And uh, maybe we'll put you in a raffle. Text it, uh, your answer in 347-927-8398. And uh, yeah, Meyer, that's been uh, wonderful. So, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, these Thank you, and it's my pleasure coming your, on. Continue your major work, and uh, have a lot of luck until the next time. Amen. Thank to you, and same to you, and hopefully uh, next time we'll be in your shrine at Akkoidish with Nisim. Nisim's gonna... gonna... You said, uh, you said uh, also, just to end off, you said about the gas has to do with Paratius. What, what exactly did you mean by that? There's a lot of, you know, again, the Bria of Hashem, the creation of Hashem. If you go down to it, knowing a little bit about the Hashem's creation, it's it's all science. I mean, the science is the how, the how everything happens, how everything uh, you know gets happens in, in in the world. Like I said, electricity or winds or growing stuff or the, or rain or you name it. So yes, everything is in Parshas Bereishis. I mean, starting off from explaining, you know, t teaching us things are growing and oxygen, as we just heard, and and animals and so on. Yes, everything is in Parshas Bereishis. Wow. Everything is in the Bria Hashem wow. and. and that's I mean, phenomenal. Yehuda, what do you have to say about it? No comment. No comment. Yehuda doesn't want to comment. Did you enjoy the show, Yehuda? I did. All right. Yehuda, have you seen me before? What is the... No. All right. Yehuda Rubin is one of our veteran storytellers, Maya. Wow. And wow. He's been doing that. How many years are you doing this? Uh, Since 2013. Um, no, well... 2014. Right. Wow, five, wow. Like, five, like I said, when I was years. your age, I don't know how old you are, but I was... Your age, looking as uh, until I was twenty-two, I probably didn't open my mouth in front of more than three people. Okay, and I saw anything more than that, I kept quiet. They say the quiet guys, the more quiet guys, when they get later on, they become so mm. more talkative. They become more entertaining. You know. Yes, I mean, uh, um, yeah. I, it's it's thanks to a few friends of mine that pushed me in, and Shashiva of Yeltsin who pushed me a lot when he was alive, still to talk. Um, thanks to a few people, really, I got to where I am, and, and Hashem really showed me that, yes, I have a lot in me, a lot of talent that really came out, and I'm sure all the kids at home, all your talent, you, ha you all have talent, you just gotta pull it out, you know, bring mm -hmm. it out. No question. Uh, Nisa, no what question. do you have to say? I, I'm, I'm agree 100% about it, you know, I just drew, I was, we have all, each one of us, each of kids, and they have something. If it's music, if it's and you know something, writing, everything, and uh, it's when you get up, you know, just believe yourself, and don't let nobody, nobody, tell you that you don't you're stupid or uh, silly or that. Don't nobody. That's you're smart. Song. You are good, and everybody has his own unique way. To express himself. Everyone to, has their unique uh, 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 Kishon. Video. Imagine everybody's a storyteller in the whole no, world. No, no. <laughs> the whole world. Yeah, you yeah. gotta have everything. Hey, I am. I'm a big storyteller. You? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Anyways, look, this, is, you know, it's amazing. How time fly. Uh, when you have a good time, time yeah, is flying. It's unbelievable. Nisa, yes. you've been uh, you've been here all night. And look, the time flies by. Yes. Uh, that's like. Anyways, this has been the Kishoni Hour. Uh, Rabbi Fischel Schachter follows me and. Simcha by Simcha is going to be on right after. Simcha with Simcha. Simcha with Sim, Simcha. Simcha with Simcha, yeah. Sim is Sim. Simcha, yeah, S and S. Yeah, and uh, S. don't go away. And just keep uh, listening to us. And again, just write all about Naki Radio, that if you want, you can text us and call us. And what a pleasure to, see, to get you and, you know, you experience and beautiful work, and Bezat Hashem, this is will be made by service out of Thank you to you guys, and all the best. This has been the Kishroni Hour. Till next week. <laughs>